What's up, YouTube? I'm Prodigy from It's HDG Gaming, and today I'm actually going to be doing something different than what I usually do. Um, on our channel, we usually post gaming videos, let's plays. Um, we usually have a lot of fun, but uh, today I'm actually going to do a very, very serious commentary about something that is very serious, and it's nothing to joke around about. Um, it's going to be a commentary about the Newtown, Connecticut shooting in uh, Sandy Hook Elementary, and... The reason why I'm doing this is because it's just, I want to see how all our subscribers take this, how they handle this, because I personally, like, I have my own opinion, but I just want to see how you guys handle this. Um, I will not use the person or thing, I will, whatever, whoever did this, I know who it was, but I will not say his name because I feel like... When people do this, they shouldn't be mentioned. It's giving them what they want. They want to be famous. They want their name out there. They want the president saying their name. So personally, me, I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to grant them that gratitude of the, their name being spoke by millions of people, which it already has. And it's, it's sad that people are that desperate for attention that they go and harm innocent people like this. But it, it's obvious that the person who did this was not right in the head and it has been there's been various reports saying that um from some of the people that the kid went to school with they said that it doesn't surprise them and which is very very shocking that someone would say oh someone did took so many innocent people's lives that doesn't surprise me uh, it's just something like that, that that doesn't comprehend that can't be comprehended in your brain and that it was an elementary school if you guys didn't know he killed 20 children and six adults two of the six adults were the school's principal and the school's psychiatrist and they were apparently one of the first to be have their lives taken from them and i just honestly i don't i don't know where to start with this i don't know who could harm 20 children who would go to an elementary school and do that honestly I mean yes there have been high school shootings and all this stuff but an elementary school with innocent children who have their whole lives ahead of them and their parents who take care of them every day and every night and look forward to seeing them every morning and stuff I, I just I don't know how someone who would think of that and like I said this kid was very demented and obviously disturbed and there was a report that he had some mysterious condition where he could not feel pain like if he got cut or anything he wouldn't notice he wouldn't feel pain and I, I don't know what to make of that I've never personally heard of something maybe it's nerve damage or something we all know just this guy this kid was not right in the head and reports were that he went to the school to shoot his mother who can who can do that I, I know other people who have done this who have done these tragedies and went and killed so many other people I know that they can kill people but ha how messed up do you have to be to take your own mother's life the lady who gave birth to you who took care of you for your whole life and it has been reported that this person his, her parent the parents were divorced and I'm guessing he stayed with like his mother got custody rights and I just, me being, like, me personally, my parents got divorced when I was eight. I've lived with my mom ever since then. I see my dad every once in a while, but I'm, I live with my mom. I, I just couldn't imagine ever harming my mother in any way. And I don't know how anyone else could imagine harming your mom in any way. The woman who raised you and has taken care of you for your whole life. I just don't imagine how that could happen. I don't imagine how someone could do that. And... It's just shocking because this is the third mass tragedy like this this year. Between apparently there was a shooting in a mall in um, Oregon, and then the Aurora one where the guy dressed up as the Joker and he went in and killed several people. And it's this is the third tragedy this year. And well, I this personally happened to me when I was in school. I didn't hear about it till the end of the day. Um, me and my friend, we came into the classroom. Everybody else had already left. Um, we were out in a separate room, and we came back in. 
and we saw our teacher pull this up and we stopped and like we stopped in our tracks and looked and we started reading and we were just dazed by could this actually happen is this real life and they had pictures and interviews of the children i mean these are elementary school third graders who are between five and ten and you're interviewing them on the tragedy that they literally just witnessed seconds ago I understand the media is messed up, but honestly, that is just, that's horrible. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I, I just can't imagine that. And I just don't know how they could know how they could push it upon themselves to forcefully interview these kids after the tragedy that they just went through. And, like, the whole Aurora thing, the guy went into an, a movie... A movie theater that was screening The Dark Knight Rises, um, and he just started shooting people. And this kid, he went to the school to kill his mother. He killed his mother in her classroom. He apparently broke through a window somehow. Um, he got in somehow, some way, and he killed his mother. He shot his own mother in the head, and then started shooting at her classroom full of elementary school kids who were five to ten years old. And I just, I, I wouldn't, that just can't comprehend that. I, I don't, it's something that doesn't work in my head. And it's just something that no one will ever understand why. No one will ever understand how someone could possibly do that. I personally don't understand how someone can do that. But in the end, 20, 20 innocent children were killed and six adults were killed. I, and just my thoughts and prayers go out to the, anyone in, who was involved in this shooting, anyone whose friends or family were in, involved in this. I couldn't imagine losing someone like that. If I was a parent and I raised a kid from an infant, I couldn't imagine just losing them like that to someone who was such a coward to take his own life at the end of this. Because he knew that if he stayed alive, he would be ripped to pieces. And it's just, I just, I couldn't comprehend it. I mean, when I grow up, yeah, I do plan to have kids. But if this ever happened to me as a parent, I, there's nothing they can do about it. And it's a horrible, horrible feeling. And it, Christmas is coming up, and the parents probably bought all their kids. They already bought the presents already, and... They were excited, and the kids were excited for Christmas morning, waking up that morning and getting their presents, and these kids were just going to school, like, every other day, and they just got their lives taken from them, which is horrible and unright and unfair, and there's nothing we can do about it, but send our thoughts and prayers out to the people who are in Connecticut, so like I said, my thoughts and my prayers do go out to everyone in Connecticut who is involved in this Newtown shooting. And, um, like I said, me and my friend were there, um, as this was happening, well, not as this was happening, but as it was, um, I guess you could say rounding out, ending, um, we were standing there in the classroom just kind of dazed, and several other teachers walked in, and they were just, they had no idea how to react. I had no idea how to react. I got picked up, I was listening to it on the radio, and when I got home, I turned on the TV and con was continuing watching this. And um, President Obama came on and gave his speech. And there, like I said, there have been three tragedies this year. Tragedies, excuse me, this year. And he's given a speech after all of them. But you could clearly tell this one was a lot different. Being a father figure like him, um, having two daughters. I think he has two daughters. Um, excuse me if I'm wrong, but you could tell this one definitely hit home for him because he actually um, he wiped his eyes a couple times. You could tell he was definitely getting teary eyed. And he said, this is where we have to do something. And obviously that is pointing towards gun laws. We have to do something about our gun laws. Because this is the third tragedy this year where innocent people who have been doing their everyday lives, just doing normal things, have lost their lives. Doing absolutely nothing wrong. And it's just not right. And something has to change. So thank you guys for watching um, this video. Um, my prayers and my thoughts go out to everyone in Newtown, Connecticut. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe to our channel for more.
um, comment how you guys feel about this. I mean, I want, like I said, I, I did this video because I want to see how you guys feel about this. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Prodigy from It's HGG Gaming, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.